returning to the prosperous era and becoming a layman. A foodie, traveling to an era of scarcity of clothing and food, striving to become a layman who has both food and drink. The reasonable party is less violent, has online intelligence, has no sky, no doubleware, no system, no planting space, only a portable warehouse that can starve mice. Non-copying, non-pasting, non-plagiarism, pure hand-typing, not produced by the studio, slow-paced, and in line with the characteristics of the era. Except for Golden Finger, we strive to ensure that all other content can withstand scrutiny. We welcome rational and friendly guidance. Some research on eating. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The common people are satisfied as long as they eat horse meat and dog meat. Where else is it that horses and dogs die of old age or illness? For these street-sold animal meats such as cats and mice, they also eat them without fail, the complete annals of the Chinese Empire, written by Jean-Baptiste Duhald, Chinese name Duhada, French nationality, 1674.1743. Even if livestock occasionally die from infectious diseases such as pleuropneumonia, they still do so. However, in their view, this type of diseased animal meat is worse than diseased animal meat that dies from other diseases, so the selling price is also cheaper. However, they still sell it all and eat it all. The Personality of Chinese People, by Arthur Hen Smith, Chinese name Ming Enpu, American Nationality, 1845. Among the people of Jingzhou, there are 70.8% who eat miscellaneous grains. Those who sell autumn harvest rice and wheat to the capital and buy miscellaneous grains for food. Not only do the poor eat miscellaneous grains, but also the moderately prosperous and above people all eat miscellaneous grains. The Geography of Greater China, compiled by Lin Chuanjia in 1919. The price of meat in Beiping is soaring, and poor families cannot eat it regularly, even if they eat it occasionally, the quantity is also limited. The sheep are imported from Beiping and sold at a low price. The amount of meat consumed by working families in Beiping within six months was only 6.39 kilograms. In the rural areas near Beiping, out of a hundred farmers, 87 have never tasted the taste of meat throughout the year, Tao Meng and statistics were established in 1930. Q, which is better now or before? The old man said, compared to before, now I eat better every day than before during the Chinese New Year. Q, would you be willing to live the same life as before? Answer. Not willing, the dialogue will take place in the winter of 2022. Once you come, be content with it. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Tang Zhidong sat with his back against a big tree, his gaze sweeping over the banners and flags on the construction site. He looked up and fell through the gaps in the leaves onto the white clouds and dogs, with the capital words, desolate, hanging on his face. Tang Zhidong was reborn and stepped on the tail of the first golden decade. He was a temporary worker on a construction site. As it is a key project, temporary workers can earn 60 cents a day for work, manage three full meals a day, while ordinary migrant workers only manage three full meals without any pay. This temporary worker is also thanks to his childhood fortune, otherwise it wouldn't be Tang Zhidong's turn. This is a great era, but for a young person in the 21st century, life and work have been too difficult. Fortunately, Tang Zhidong has a travel benefit. A portable warehouse, which comes with a time and space stagnation attribute, due to the owner's reasons, no one except Tang Zhidong can enter, but can accommodate anything except living people. Tang Zhidong's job is to clean up the weeds and shrubs that have been uprooted on the construction site. Generally speaking, they are turned over several times and exposed to sunlight for a few days. The weeds burn directly, and the shrubs are taken to the kitchen as firewood. After having a portable warehouse, Tang Zhidong quietly loads plants and trees into the warehouse at night, and pulls larger branches to the kitchen. A few days later, Tang Zhidong's warehouse had already stocked up with many weeds and shrubs. Are you in a daze again? Ma San walked over and sat down next to Tang Zhidong. He took out a cigarette from his mouth, lit a match, threw it out, and then extended his arm upwards. 
After retracting it, he grabbed the cigarette with his index finger and middle finger and took a deep breath, squeezing it away from his lips. The smoke finally drifted out of his nostrils. How do you feel like you've changed? Ma San, surnamed Ma and named Kajin, is a Han Chinese. He is the third in the family and was the youngest son of Tang Zhidong. Due to his childhood acne and acne scars on his face, his neighbors called him Ma San Air. Maybe I died from heatstroke once and was stimulated. Tang Zhitong stopped looking at the sky and looked at Ma San sincerely, saying, Thank you, third brother. If it weren't for you, my little life would have been gone. You're hitting my face when you say that. I just hope you can work more leisurely in the future. I brought you to do odd jobs, not to risk your life. If you have any major problems, how can I explain them to my family? Ma San, dressed in a yellow-green uniform, held a cigarette in his left hand and a boat hat in his right hand to fan the wind. That's right, it was the boat hat that briefly existed in history. I heard you change to the night shift, and you cleaned up quickly. You must act within your means and take care of yourself. Don't worry, third brother. After this experience, I also understand. My body is my own, and I need to take good care of myself before I have the opportunity to make a contribution. Tang Zhidong smiled at Ma San, if it were to happen again, the whole family would have to cry to death. I can rest assured if you think that way. Ma San smiled contentedly and took a deep breath of his cigarette, reluctantly thrusting his short but into the soil to extinguish it. In a few more days, all the weeds and trees will be cleaned up. It's estimated that digging lakes, repairing bridges, and paving roads will take more than four months. After finishing this, let's let you go to the kitchen to do odd jobs. Is this suitable? Tang Zhitong hesitated a bit, and Ma San was in charge of the kitchen here. However, in recent years, he has been avoiding his family and playing like this can easily have a negative impact on his childhood. It's okay, Captain Wu knows about your heatstroke. I talked to him about your family's situation a few days ago, and he agreed to let you go to the kitchen. On the other hand, Gu Didi, you have to thank him well. If he hadn't found out about your heatstroke, it would be difficult to say what will happen next. Tang Zhidong met Captain Wu, who was mentioned by Ma San and is the overall person in charge of this phase of the construction site. After Ma San finished speaking, he stood up and patted the soil on his buttocks, put on his hat, said that the kitchen was still occupied, waved his hand, and turned his head away without taking away a cloud. Masaner is carefree, partly due to her personality, and partly due to her good family conditions and confidence. Masanzu was diligent and hardworking, but later on, a certain generation of ancestors defeated their family by drawing blessings and longevity ointment. Their descendants could only pick up food and run into greenhouses. The so dot called running in a greenhouse refers to a resident chef. It is easy for a poor family to start a family, and several generations of the Ma family have attempted to revive their ancestral business, all of which ended in failure. However, it was not a problem to make ends meet. Even so, the family conditions of the Ma family are still top dot notch in the neighborhood. Later, Mr. Ma decided to send his son to join the army for the sake of his child's future. Ma Sanner has been practicing spoons and cutting techniques since childhood and is skilled. Although he enlisted for less than a year, he quickly became the leader of the cooking class due to his outstanding personal performance. When Ma Sanner enlisted, he was in the midst of a change in the military service system. His service also coincided with the victory of the peninsula and the return of the Wang army to court, resulting in personnel reductions. As a result, things happen to happen together, making further progress very difficult. How can one thank someone for their small help? After thinking for a while, Tang Zhidong couldn't figure it out. Looking at his short cut outfit, his exposed skin was taken care of by the sun, and with a self-deprecating smile, he decided to save himself first and then think about gratitude. Should parents from the previous time and space be compensated for their sudden death at work? A few days ago, I also cursed the heavens and the earth in my heart, 
trying to return to the prosperous era. One night, he even tried drowning to see if he could go back, but unfortunately, Tang Zhitong in this time and space could swim. People didn't die, but they drank a few sips of water. Not to mention, the mountain spring water praised by Aizen Joro for psoriasis is really delicious. Life is nothing but death. Tang Zhidong thought that since he couldn't go back, he had to use his existing conditions to prepare and make his life easier and more comfortable in the future. I learned from my colleagues that with the continuous increase in satellite production per mu and the booming water conservancy projects, I don't know if small blast furnaces will be built next time is tight, let go of that useless drop. Seize the opportunity to stock up on supplies, otherwise there will be plenty of opportunities to drink the wind in the future. Tang Zhitong plans to start hoarding from free ones, such as the collected weeds, and raise some rabbits in the future, the spring water has a good taste and can also be stored in the warehouse, burnt plant ash can be used as fertilizer for growing vegetables in the yard. As for other supplies, it's difficult. Just having money is not enough, we still need channels. Let's take grain as an example. Currently, we have achieved two unified policies. Individuals who consume commodity grain can purchase grain at designated points based on their own income. It is still possible to buy an additional 30.50 kg per month, but if there is more, it will be difficult. As for buying from rural areas or markets, the operability is not strong because they sell raw grains, and even if they can be purchased, how to process them is a problem. If we delay for another two or three months, the market will basically disappear, and there will be no place to buy gross grain. I don't have any money or channels at the moment. Tang Zhidong knows he can't steal money. He has his own bottom line, otherwise what's the difference between him and a beast? I heard that literati are quite popular and receive high treatment. Most literati have their own character, but their own bones are too weak to hold up a strong and sturdy rice bowl. Tang Zhidong looked up at the sky with two eyes, there was really no good way. Who makes his family ordinary? He can only act according to the situation and try to create opportunities. Tang Zhitong had also seen some protagonists before, who were full of buffs. After traveling through time, their parents died on duty, leaving behind a cash empty room, the protagonist was rewarded for his meritorious service after being discharged from the military, signed in with meat, eggs, sugar, space breeding, medicine and food production, the street immediately arranged for entry into the factory, and captured Dieter to make a name for himself. Zhaozhuiyuan.com In the end, he lived a carefree life of being immoral, having three wives and four concubines, stealing wives, sleeping in a widow's bed, causing chaos and speculation, and working hard to sell meat and food for money to buy antiques. As flexible workers with no room in their homes and no land, they have come to this era and openly become the masters of the old society in front of the forbidden city. TSK TSK TSK, how dare the Chow thieves think? This reminded Tang Zhitong of a book review. In the past, there were two figures who were inseparable, one surnamed Zhen, named Xia Ji, and the other surnamed Ba, named Luan Xia. Passers-by all called them. Zhen Xia Ji, Ba Luan Xia. The last thing a person wants to admit in their life is being ordinary. Tang Zhitong has gone through the vicissitudes of society and has been a person for two generations. He has a clear understanding that not only is his family ordinary, but his people are also ordinary. From now on, families with an average per capita income of less than 8 yuan are considered impoverished. Although there are documents requiring impoverished families to make up their income to an average of 8 yuan per person, there are numerous difficulties in implementation and implementation is flexible. Tang's father was bedridden for half a year, and he could only receive 60% of his monthly salary, which was 25 yuan. With Tang's mother burning a matchbox in her spare time, the whole family's monthly income was only 30 yuan. 30 yuan is enough to support the whole family of five. Even though Tang's father's medical expenses are fully reimbursed by the company, his life is still tight. Moreover, there are three students at home, and tuition fees, 
pens, and notebooks are all expenses. Tang's mother was anxious about this, but there was nothing she could do about it. Even discussing with Tang's father to have his daughter drop out of school and work part dot time to support Tang Zhidong's education. Second grade. You are listening at novel full dot audio. The hemp rope is broken in every detail, and misfortune is on those who suffer. Tang's father did not agree to let his daughter drop out of school, but what is his solution? Tang's father suffered from silicosis, also known as tuberculosis in the mouths of the people. Due to the rapid development of his condition, Tang passed away on the eve of Tang Zhidong's junior high school graduation. Currently, silicosis is not considered a work.related injury, so the Tang family is unable to enjoy the benefits of family succession or monthly pension payments, only for those who die on duty. However, funeral and relief expenses have been paid at the mine. On the mining front, he was righteous and ignored Tang's mother's economic income from burning matchboxes, directly providing her with no source of income. In addition, he also had two daughters under the age of 16, who were considered to have three direct relatives to support, and provided top-of-the-line relief funds. The relief fund is a full year's salary for Tang's father. The funeral allowance is slightly lower, paid at twice the average monthly salary of minors, resulting in a total of over 500 received. After finishing Tang's father's funeral, Tang's mother deposited the remaining money into the bank. She said that the monthly interest rate for one year was half, equivalent to an annual interest rate of 14.4%, and all the money was saved for Tang Zhidong to marry his wife as summer approached, the second sister dropped out of school to make matchboxes. As the only male servant in the family, Tang Zhidong worked hard to shoulder the burden of life and went to the construction site under the introduction of Ma San Gu. If the young sword is not properly worn, you will enter the martial arts world when you leave. A newborn calf is not afraid of tigers and is even more worried about embarrassing Ma San Gu, so he worked exceptionally hard and ended up getting himself involved. Once again in life, Tang Zhitong will no longer be reckless. In addition to collecting some weeds and shrubs at night, Tang Zhitong will also go to the spring to collect water when there are few people in the latter half of the night. Perhaps due to the rainy weather a few days ago, the spring water suddenly surged and could spew nearly a ton in just one second. Data sourced from Mr. Li Yuhong, municipal expert in 49 cities, I heard that drinking it can lighten the body, promote health, and prolong life, so Tang Zhidong can hoard it vigorously. Missing this moment, I won't be able to enter after the project is completed, and in more than a decade, the spring water will directly cut off and become a masterpiece. After the weeds on the surface were treated, Tang Zhitong smoothly transferred to become a Dunzi, washing and cutting only one type of vegetables. Pickled Vegetable Bumps This job is relatively leisurely. I wash over 600 pickled vegetable lumps a day and cut them into strips. It doesn't matter if they are thicker, and no one picks them. After finishing work, one should not be idle, as it has a negative impact on hair growth. Therefore, in her spare time, Tang Zhidong picks up some water and cleans up furnace ash. His main purpose is furnace ash. In the absence of fertilizers, these plant ash are treasures for farming. My little brother graduated from junior high school and has education. If you want to write letters to your family, look for him. Seeing F.A. Xiao working so hard, Ma San was worried that Tang Zhidong would become too tired again and took the initiative to arrange for writing letters. Due to the unusually high illiteracy rate, Tang Zhidong worked part dot time as a ghostwriter while cutting vegetables, but of course, the ashes did not fall. Tang Zhidong did not refuse Ma Sanji's kindness. It was entirely voluntary labor, and he became familiar with Ma Sanji's comrades. When sending letters, he could also thank Gu Zhua in person. Gu Zhuadi doesn't come every day. Tang Zhidong waited until the third day to wait for Gu Zhuadi's arrival. Gu Zhuadi. Is it Gu Zhuadi? Tang Zhidong greeted a young man who was not much older than him with uncertainty. The young man was dressed in a clean uniform, riding on two or eight large poles, carrying two postal parcels, 
and was two streets more handsome than the bare shoulder laborers on the construction site. Hello, I'm Gu Yong. What's up with you? Gu Yong stopped the bike and lifted his leg to lightly get off the bike. Hello Gu, my name is Tang Jitong. According to class leader Ma, it was you who saved me a few days ago. Gu Yong is not very old, and Tang Jitong feels that he is not a few years older than himself, but he shows enough respect in his words. After saying this, he bows to Gu Yong and says, Thank you. The kindness of saving my life is deeply ingrained in my memory. Oh. It's you. Hey, what a big deal, don't take it to heart. The young man's blood is always hot, and being thanked for doing good deeds made Gu Yong very happy. He grabbed the back seat and erected the two or eight bar bracket, then smiled and helped Tang Jidong up. You may think it's just a gesture of kindness, but it's a life-saving gesture for me. Tang Jitong held Gu Yong's hand with both hands and shook it warmly. I wanted to send you a banner, but I didn't know your unit and name. I feel ashamed and ashamed. I'm so sorry about this, so I'm so sorry about this. Gu Yong's smile grew even stronger as he lifted his idle right hand and held it together with Tang Jitong's hand. The watch on his wrist was particularly eye-dot catching. I'm at the Summer Palace branch, so come find me if you need anything in the future. Tang Jitong calmly glanced at Gu Yong's watch, De Lao, a brand that had been unknown for decades but was still well dot known. Everything is in silence, perhaps this is an opportunity, and Tang Jitong decided to push forward. I really have something to trouble you with. Many comrades here want to write letters and some plan to send some money home to supplement their expenses, but I can't do it alone. Can you help me? I really want to help. Team leader Wu has also approached me about this matter. Although I have also come up with results, I really can't handle it alone. Gu Yong frowned and poured out bitterness as soon as he heard about this, and withdrew his hand. You misunderstood, it's my fault for not explaining clearly. Tang Jitong quickly went back to make up for it. I have sorted out a few common styles, with empty spaces for titles, names, dates, etc., and filled in the blanks according to personal situations. I will try to print hundreds of copies of this style again, and we will find a few more people who can read and write to help comrades fill in the blanks. This not only achieves confidentiality, but also improves efficiency. Do you think it can be achieved? Is your idea very good? What do I need to do? After hearing Tang Jidong finish speaking, Gu Yong's eyes lit up and his tone became urgent. You are a professional, and if you use it improperly, please coordinate and communicate with the construction site leader. I will beat the drums and help you achieve some results. Later, comrades will also send money, and you will need to coordinate the process. Tang Jitong rubbed his hands, although his posture was low, the meaning was expressed very clearly. Oh my! Sending money is not a problem, but how can I be so embarrassed about this? People nowadays are simple, and Gu Yong is no exception. He is very embarrassed to claim credit from others, I am also very anxious when I see that it is difficult for comrades to report safety to their families. If you really manage this matter, it will also be a concern for me. Tang Jitong didn't give Gu Yong any time to worry and pulled him to the construction site office. Seeing Wu Zhu, Gu Yong, who was pushed forward, blushed and stuttered, unable to utter a word or two. Upon seeing this, Tang Jitong sighed inwardly at Gu Yong's thin skin and took the initiative to speak his thoughts again. Hey! You have a great idea. You've really helped us a lot. Leader Wu glanced up at the unattractive young man in front of him and asked, You said it would cost a lot of money to print hundreds of copies, right? It won't take much money to find a book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com. Many schools have hand-operated oil printers, but it's mainly a technical task to find skilled hands. If there is a letter of introduction, it will be easier for the company to work with the guild. Tang Jidong didn't hesitate to point out the most crucial link. After printing, we also need to coordinate with colleagues to handle the remittance procedures. 
this can only be done through delivery coordination. Gu Tuati blushed and patted his chest to ensure that there were no issues with the coordination of manpower, wrapped around himself. As for the possibility of Wu Zhu kicking himself away after hearing this, Tang Zhidong didn't even think about it. There were two phones on his desk, one of which was red. People with this configuration would not lack a bit of ambition and layout. Your method is great. It has solved the urgent need for us to write a letter, and I have to thank you both very much. I will open this letter of introduction for you, let go. Wu Zhu didn't hesitate and directly pulled out a dozen pieces of writing paper. Using a brush, he wrote from top to bottom on the right side of the red box on the letter. This is to introduce my unit. What's your name? Wu Zhu stopped writing and looked up to ask. The trees planted in the Tang dynasty are the trees planted in the Tang dynasty, and the trees planted in the Wudong trees are the trees planted in the Tang dynasty, Tang Zhitong explained word for word. Isn't the name good? I hope you can attract the golden phoenix, Wu joked as he wrote. I haven't seen the golden phoenix in all these years, but it can indeed attract a phoenix. My two younger sisters in the family both have phoenixes in their names. Because of this, my mother wants to change my name. Tang Zhidong wiped his bald head, which had just grown into a stubble, making Wu and Gu laugh heartily. Nowadays, many people, due to poverty, do not pay attention to their hairstyles at all. They mostly choose to find a shaver at home or outside and spend a few cents to shave their heads. Ha ha ha, young man is quite witty. Wu Zhu finished writing the introduction letter and after the ink was dry, he stamped it, tore it off, and handed it to Tang Zhitong. Don't worry about doing it, don't have any psychological burden. Free Throwing Bricks You are listening at NovelFull.audio This thin piece of paper is a great knocking brick and also the biggest harvest of Tang Zhitong so far. I dare not underestimate this piece of paper. As long as it is covered with a poke, it has magical power, representing that 70% or 80% of what needs to be done is already certain, and the remaining 20% or 30% depends on either fate or worldly wisdom. After receiving the introduction letter, Tang Zhidong didn't rush over directly. Instead, he ran to borrow three yuan from Ma San Gu and also borrowed a white shirt. He actually has two tendons, but there are more holes on top than his heart, so he can't go out to do things. Ma San Gu was happy and didn't ask anything. He took off the clothes hanging from the door, took out a roll of money, counted out five yuan, and patted them in Tang Zhidong's hand. He said, I'm worried about the cigarette being cut off, so please bring me two boxes. Okay, I'll pay you back in a few days. Tang Zhidong, holding the money in his hand, felt heavy in his heart. What else could he say? This was clearly because Ma San Gu was worried that he wouldn't spend enough. After leaving the door, Gu Yong was still waiting for him. The package on his bicycle had been moved from the back seat and hung on the front bumper, leaving the back seat empty for easy passenger transportation. This construction site is the last stop within Gu Yong's delivery range, and after the letter is delivered, it should be returned. As he walked out of the construction site, Gu Yong couldn't help but feel excited about his achievements and couldn't help but thank Tang Zhitong. Don't be too busy thanking me for now. I can't do this alone, and I have to rely on your help. Which nearby university are you familiar with? Tang Zhitong patted Gu Yong's back, indicating that he should ride his bike well and not fall off. Yanda, I go there almost every day to deliver letters, and one of my buddies is studying there, Gu Yong replied without hesitation. Isn't that unfortunate? There's a shortage of one's own person. What year is your classmate in college? Is he in the student union? Tang Zhidong gently moved his buttocks. These days, the rear seat of the 28 bar is more inclined towards carrying objects, made of vertical iron plates riveted together, without any comfort. I still have one more year to graduate, and I was in the student union for the first two years. Last time I met, I said I would switch to becoming a counselor to lead students. Gu Yong was full of enthusiasm, 
struggling with his feet and moving forward. Are you planning to stay on campus, right? Tang Zhidong tapped and asked. Your knowledge doesn't seem like graduating from junior high school, Gu Yong was surprised and wanted to turn his head to look at Tang Zhidong. However, his neck didn't support a 180-degree rotation and he failed. He has the idea of staying in school and is striving for it. My friend is facing difficulties, and we can't just sit and watch. We happen to have something to ask for. Tang Zhidong calculated in his heart and spoke up, this time, I will trouble your brother to help coordinate and coordinate. After we finish, we will write a thank that you letter and send a deputy banner in the name of the construction site. Although we can't help you, we can take this opportunity to do some work and add some firewood, which can also make your brother's face look better. Do you think it's a win.win .win situation? That's great. Why are you so smart? How could I never have thought of it? Gu Yong listened, half excited, three amazed, and a little regretful. Your energy is tied up in the tiring and tedious delivery of letters, how can you have any time to think about these things? I'm just a blind cat running into a dead mouse, not related to intelligence. Tang Zhidong said so, but he sighed in his heart that people these days are simple and have no concept of deep integration of resources. Just chatting haphazardly, Gu Yong brought Tang Zhidong into the town. The driver is exhausted and the passengers are not doing well either. The road surface is uneven, and the shock absorption relies entirely on the gluteal muscles. When bumping, it's just two words. Sour and refreshing. Gu Didi, where are the people who make brocade flags in this familiar area? I'll go and book the brocade flags first. As he entered the town, Tang Zhidong displayed his sincerity in the open. Sit still, I'll take you. Upon hearing this, Gu Yong was not tired anymore, and his pedals almost ground sparks. The driver was driving fast, and Tang Zhidong couldn't hold on to the waist of a big man. He could only grab onto the back seat and was prepared to jump off the car at any moment. Here we are. Fortunately, not long after, Gu Yong stopped panting in front of a small storefront not far from the south gate of Yanda. Tang Zhidong got off the car, rubbed his ravaged sour and numb buttocks, and turned to look at the sign in front of the door, with the words, Joint Venture, on it. Joint Venture, a product with distinctive characteristics of the times, will be included in a batch in the coming months, and the remaining will continue to exist for a period of time. I want to include all of them, but I don't have enough job positions to digest and place them. However, people always have to eat, so I can only make do with it for now. Joint venture, things are better to handle. The shop owner is not an iron rice bowl, and there is no such thing as a guaranteed harvest from drought or flood. If you want to earn more rice to cook, you must try to meet the reasonable needs of customers. Two brocade flags, with a total of less than four feet of fabric, plus hanging shafts, hanging ears, processing fees, etc., totaling 1.9 yuan. The 3 plus 5 movement has just passed and the market, which was already relatively honest, is now basically eliminating the practice of using inferior products as a substitute. Moreover, the price is set above, and the store is only implementing it, so there is not much room for price reduction. Tang Zhidong did not bargain, only requested to come and pick it up tomorrow. The shop owner patted his chest and promised to make it ready tonight. Based on the above situation, invoicing, payment, and change are all done in one go. Two brocade flags, one for Gu Yong, thanking him for saving himself, and the other for his friend Kai Fong, who was studying at Yen University. The thank that you message on the flag was set by the shop owner for their help, which is uplifting, serious, and very distinctive of the times. You saw that this matter was done, why did you just order it before it was done? Gu Yong didn't expect Tang Zhidong to directly order one for Kai Fong. After leaving, he felt a bit conflicted, afraid that the matter wouldn't be completed, and he didn't understand Tang Zhidong's intentions. Ha ha, I'm not grilling teacher Kai over the fire. This banner represents my sincerity. If teacher Kai has any difficulties, it's okay for us to look for other schools. Tang Zhidong explained, 
the banner represents sincerity. If you come empty-handed, you're a fool walking around. This time you're going to waste money. I just dragged Kai Fong to the construction site by force. Upon hearing Tang Zhidong's words, Gu Yong felt that he had a lot of face and patted his chest, promising to get this done. Gu Didi, I'll go buy some writing paper first. I'll use it for printing later. How about you go find teacher Kai first? Tang Zhidong took the initiative to split up and give Gu Didi and Counselor Kai a chance to communicate privately. Otherwise, how can we show the full sincerity represented by this banner? Okay, I'll go find Kai Fong first. I'll take him to find you later. Gu Yong was very excited and wanted to ride his bike after saying that. The first time he saw something so neat and authentic, he couldn't afford to drop the chain himself. Don't do it. Tang Zhitong grabbed the back seat of his bicycle. Gu Yong and Kai Fong were not out of sight, but he had to have some discretion. When asking for help, he had to have an attitude of asking for help, and let others come and find him. Is it decent? I bought the letter paper and went to find you too. The stereotypical equipment is on campus, and you have to go in again when you come out. Just wait for me on campus, there's no need to go on a wrong path. We'll be waiting for you at the south gate of the biology building later, Gu Yong thought to himself, following the same advice as a stream. After parting ways with Gu Yong, Tang Zhitong walked slowly towards the campus, saying that buying letter paper was just an excuse. Writing a letter requires a letter paper envelope, but Tang Zhidong has no intention of paying for it himself, otherwise he wouldn't have borrowed only 3 yuan from Ma Sange. Writing paper is now operated by cultural goods companies, and there are not many things related to culture that are cheap. Two sheets of writing paper cost one cent, and one envelope costs one cent. There are not many branches of cultural goods companies, and if you are lucky, the supply and sales stores will have consignment sales. There is no reason to work for the construction site without putting in one's own effort and paying for it. There are letters and envelopes on the construction site. Tang Zhidong plans to communicate with teacher Kai later and try to lend out the equipment as much as possible, using the letters and envelopes from the construction site. As for the postage, it will definitely be borne by the sender. It costs 4 points in this port and 8 points in other ports, and military postal stamps are free of charge. C.E. New. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. He is well versed in human relationships and has never had the opportunity to present a letter of introduction. When Tang Zhitong arrived at the biology building, Kai Fong and Gu Yong were already eagerly anticipating it. When Gu Yong waved to Tang Zhitong, Kai Fong strode forward to welcome him. Comrade Tang, you've worked hard. Kai Fong held Tang Zhidong's hand with both hands and shook it vigorously, without looking down on anyone because Tang Zhidong couldn't wear anything on the stage. Sorry for keeping teacher Kai waiting for so long. Tang Zhidong responded calmly and enthusiastically, knowing that there was a drama involved. The three of them didn't go to the office and hid under the shade of a tree in front of the building. Tang Zhitong roughly explained the content of this voluntary assistance. Comrades are not easy. They have been away for many years and can't meet their families. Even if they want to write a letter, they can't recognize a few words. Gu Zhuidi was thinking about helping the comrades solve their urgent needs. When we combined, we came up with this idea. We had an idea, but unfortunately, we didn't have a printing press and manpower, so we couldn't carry it out. Gu Zhuidi said you have talent and came to find you. This matter is sure to succeed. I'm flattered, I'm flattered. Kai Fong combed his back and rubbed his hands awkwardly. I'll apply to the department head about the oil printing machine. It's all so easy to handle. I'll take a few students over. Thank you so much. Thank you to the teachers and students of Yan University for their strong support. We don't have much to offer at the construction site, and we have enough work and meals to manage. Afterwards, we will send the brocade flag and thank that you letter. Tang Zhitong said, and the two shook hands again. 
In a few words, this matter was settled. The three of them clarified their division of labor and details, and arranged to meet at the construction site early tomorrow morning, so they took separate actions. Gu Yong took Tang Zhidong to the entrance of the post office. He wanted to go back to his unit to coordinate the sending of money and stamps, so Tang Zhidong had to walk back on his legs. Tang Zhidong didn't rush back and found a cool place to review the entire plan in his heart. He really missed one person. The correspondent. Generally speaking, a correspondent is a part-time staff member of news media in a certain unit. The main job of a correspondent may be a driver, teacher, telephone operator, etc., who also serves as a correspondent. The construction site communication officer is not among these ordinary ones. He is also a communication officer, surnamed Huang, and is a full-time communication officer of the Wu team. Some people call him Huang Communication, while others call him Huang Officer. Before Tang Zhitong wrote letters on behalf of others, writing letters on behalf of others was Huang's part-time job, which took up a lot of personal time and the remuneration was extremely low, with each letter being a financial cigarette. Economy brand cigarettes, the bottom line of Class C cigarettes, cost 8 cents per box. At present, there is no concept of brand ownership, and most tobacco factories in various regions are producing, which is popular among low-income groups due to its low price. Ma San Gu smokes economy cigarettes. He once told Tang Zhitong that he smokes economy cigarettes to save money and marry a wife after retiring from the military. Tang Zhitong retorted, isn't not smoking more cost-effective. He choked Ma San Gu half to death. After confirming that there were no omissions, Tang Zhitong stood up and patted his buttocks. He went into the joint venture store and bought six boxes of economy and two boxes of wanxiang, totaling 82 cents. Six boxes are economical, two boxes are for Ma San Gu, two boxes are for the messenger to find opportunities, and the rest are for socializing and chatting with people. Currently, there are no restrictions on the purchase of cigarettes, and middle-income smokers smoke Wanxiang cigarettes. Although they are also Class C cigarettes, at least 171 boxes are available, high-income smokers smoke Grade B cigarettes such as Peonies and Front Doors, costing over 30 cents per box, as for Chinese cigarettes, they are Class A cigarettes and do not circulate through common channels. After returning to the construction site in the afternoon, Tang Zhidong went to find Ma San Gu and handed him the cigarette and the remaining money. He returned the clothes after washing them. By the way, I asked third brother about the identity of the correspondent. Ma San Gu has some views on Huang Shiguo, who is greedy for small gains and looks down on others. Tang Zhidong thanked Ma San Gu, but this person has some minor problems and is more likely to come into contact with. After Tang Zhidong finished writing the letter template, he picked up his pen and wrote a commendable communication manuscript, highly praising the strong support of the Yanda Tea Committee, Kai Feng, his classmates, the post office leaders, and Gu Yong for social construction, and solving the difficulties that many soldiers and the public were concerned about. After checking everything, Tang Zhidong went to the office to find Director Huang. In the summer, the door was open and Director Huang sat at his desk, bowing down to write something. Huang, is it convenient? Tang Zhidong knocked on the door and stood at the door, asking. Xiao Tang, come on in. Huang, the secretary, stopped writing and looked up. After seeing the person clearly, he looked impatient and asked, what's up? It's like this. Tang Zhidong walked into the office and roughly explained the situation. I have prepared a template and would like you and the Wu team to review it. Oh, let's leave it here. I'll take a look later. Huang, the secretary, was not very interested and frowned, pondering over the unfinished manuscript on the desk. That. Tang Zhidong handed over the template, but he didn't accept it either, so he placed it in the corner of the table. Is there anything else? Huang Ganshu raised his head and asked with some anger. I didn't write a few letters for everyone a few days ago, and everyone gave me a few boxes of cigarettes, which also counted as cutting off your beard. 
Tang Zhidong put his hand behind his back and quietly pulled out two boxes of economy cigarettes from the space, handing them to Director Huang's desk. I thought there was one for you inside, so I'll send it to you. Oh my, you little Tang. Mr. Huang put on his pen cap and glanced outside the door. There was no one around, but a smile appeared on his face. You've been causing trouble for me. I have to thank you. Let's help each other and make progress together. Tang Zhidong took out his written communication manuscript again. Yanda attaches great importance to this matter, and teachers and students will come early tomorrow morning. You are thinking about promoting their style, and our construction site also needs to express something. Please ask me to help you write something. Help me. When did I mention it? Huang Gansher looked bewildered, his greed for small gains was true. How could he have seen Tang Zhidong with such a shameless face? Many of you have forgotten about things. When it comes to this morning's matter, we need to pay attention to it. How much writing paper will we use tomorrow to ask for it? Tang Zhidong said solemnly and nonsense, and when it comes to communication drafts, we need to pay attention to timeliness, act quickly, prepare in advance, and plan carefully. We should not engage in unprepared battles. It is not important to ask for manuscript fees from Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. What is important is to praise the colleagues at Yanda and the post office. Hmm. Let me have a look first. Director Huang looked at Tang Zhitong seriously, blush flushed, and slightly doubted his memory. The letter template will be used early tomorrow morning, and you have been tired and given it once. You should rest early today, and tomorrow you will need to be in command. Tang Zhitong finished speaking and left Huang, who was stunned, to slowly digest it. He walked out of the office with a smile. The situation is progressing smoothly. The next day, I told Kai Fong that I wanted to see the newspaper. Wow, I was more energetic. Steamed dome dot shaped bread made of corn flour was stunned and said that he had tasted sweet. Although other college students followed suit, they ate very reluctantly. Tang Zhitong is glad that his body still has the instinct of continuity. Tang Gai is not good at eating. It's not Tang Zhitong's turn to be picky. He can only be hungry if he doesn't eat. So Tang Zhitong is very happy when he eats steamed dome dot shaped bread made of corn flour. The next few days were also quite busy. In addition to cutting pickled vegetables and collecting furnace ash, Tang Zhitong also went to the town to deliver brocade flags and thank that you letters. Wu was very satisfied and asked Huang to write two thank that you letters in the name of the construction site, one posted on the Yanda publicity board and the other posted at the entrance of the post office. The teachers, students, and post office of Yanda are very satisfied, and everyone likes to be praised and thanked. Huang, the staff member, was also very satisfied. The communication manuscript was published and the payment was received. He held the newspaper and boasted for several days. Seeing Tang Zhidong, he was very friendly, but there was no intention of paying any payment to Tang Zhidong. Wu Zhu reimbursed the money for customizing the banner, and Tang Zhidong returned the money to Ma San Gu. However, he did not see the opportunity to grow bigger and stronger, and create more glory, and was slightly disappointed. Just as Tang Zhidong was planning to quit his job and go to the market to fight guerrilla warfare, Wu Zhu called him to have a conversation. The bricks were thrown out, but the jade still attracted. Wu Xiang Zhuang Dance Sword You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Xiao Tang, come on, sit down and say, sit down and say. Wu Zhu politely asked Tang Zhidong to sit down, then poured another cup of tea and put it down in front of Tang Zhitong. He kindly said, Drink tea. Thank you, Wu Zhu. Tang Zhitong leaned forward and humbly picked up the tea cup. He had all the necessary etiquette, but he couldn't say he was flattered. This was a blessing from his past life. He had knowledge and even though he was dressed in indecent clothes, he was not afraid to meet anyone and was generous and appropriate. You've been at the construction site for a while now, are you used to it? 
Wu Zhu sat down and smiled as he chatted with Tang Zhidong. Habit, everyone takes good care of me, just like family, making me feel the warmth of home. We are already a big family, Wu Zhu was very satisfied with Tang Zhidong's answer. You did a great job with the last thing. It's collective wisdom and everyone's contribution. I have done so little within my ability, but I dare not be praised by you. Tang Zhitong is a low dot key person and a high dot profile person, and he is well versed in the samadhi. Young people are humble and don't take pride in themselves, that's great. Wu Zhu was very satisfied with Tang Zhitong, and the smile on his face never stopped. I came to see you today. There's something I want to hear your opinion on. I dare not take it seriously. I will definitely speak my mind without hesitation. If I make a mistake, please forgive me. Tang Zhidong said seriously and adjusted his sitting posture slightly, appearing more serious and focused. I believe you also understand the general situation on the construction site. The construction speed is not fast enough, and there may even be delays. Do you have any way to complete the project ahead of schedule? Wu Zhu's smile faded a lot as he talked about the schedule, adding a touch of melancholy. When do you want to finish ahead of schedule? As for the schedule, there have been discussions privately. If the weather is not favorable, if the construction speed continues at this rate, we will have to wait until winter to complete. At least before the holiday, it can't be too late, Wu Zhu firmly replied. Before the holiday, Tang Zhidong silently calculated in his mind. In mid-July, if the four-month project quantity is reduced to 75 days to complete, the efficiency will increase by about 60%, and the task is very difficult. As expected by Tang Zhitong, the biggest problem with this conversation now is that efficiency cannot be improved, and the construction area is only so large that it is impossible to increase manpower. Due to high labor intensity, there are people who procrastinate, and everyone is a class brother without proper measures to handle it. Are we going to let our soldiers fight and scold us? Very unsuitable. There is no way to punish them. Temporary workers like Tang Zhitong who earn wages are a minority, while the majority are nearby villagers. The construction site manager has three full meals a day and no wages to pay. The settlement of wages for migrant workers was pushed forward by Mr. Wu Hao after his inspection of the reservoir in a while, and it will only be implemented next year. The difficulty involved, not to mention Tang Zhitong, cannot even be pushed forward by Wu Group. Big Package Leaving aside how to pay, once implemented, even if this mine is buried, it will be blown to pieces in a few years. Wu Zhu treats Ma San Guan himself well, and he cannot disregard Wu Zhu's future for the sake of the present. In response to the above situation, Tang Zhitong has thought it over and realized that only by mobilizing enthusiasm and improving efficiency can he start. Not only does it cost less, but it may also be regarded as a typical example when it comes to communalization in the future. I don't have a clue at the moment. I'll think about it and give you an answer, okay? Tang Zhidong frowned, looking as if he had encountered a tricky problem. Although the general plan has been formed, Tang Zhitong will not immediately express his thoughts, otherwise he will appear to be talented or prepared. This is not what Tang Zhitong wants, being low dot key and inconspicuous is safer. Okay, go back and think carefully, give me a plan as soon as possible. Wu Zhu was slightly disappointed, but did not force Tang Zhitong to respond immediately. A good memory is not as good as a bad pen. Tang Zhidong left the office and asked for a few pieces of writing paper from Director Huang, and then began to write and draw. After sorting out the details, Tang Zhidong waited until the afternoon to report the plan to Wu Group in the office. Hello Wu, is it convenient for you? Tang Zhidong continued to knock on the office door, which was the most basic courtesy. I'll organize some ideas and report them to you. Free, come, sit. Wu Zhu was very enthusiastic and handed Tang Zhitong a cup of water. Thank you. Tang Zhitong leaned forward to take it, I organized it according to the idea of, more, faster, better, and more economical. 
you don't think it should be used properly. You say. Tang Zhitong spoke up, and Wu's enthusiasm greatly increased, in line with the overall policy. If it really works, this is a big highlight in the work. This is mostly about increasing labor force, the quick is to improve efficiency and shorten the construction period, from the current estimated 120 days, try to compress it to 70 days, the good thing is to ensure quality and quantity, follow the design and construction, and not cut corners, the main saving is reflected in saving food and wages by completing the project ahead of schedule. Tang Zhitong explained his ideas and began to calculate for Wu, the labor intensity on the construction site is high, and the food consumption of migrant workers is high. Let's calculate based on 1 kilogram of corn flour per person per meal. Wu nodded and gestured for Tang Zhidong to continue. At present, there are 800 people on the entire construction site, all of whom have three full meals a day. Among them, 300 people are calculated based on an average of 80 cents per person. Based on an estimated completion time of 120 days, a total of 288,000 kilograms of grain will be consumed and 28,800 yuan of labor will be spent. Tang Zhitong paused slightly, digesting the numbers for Wu, and continued, completing 50 days in advance, based on the current amount of food and expenses, a total of 120,000 kilograms of grain and 12,000 yuan of labor can be saved. Find Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com How can we improve efficiency? Two shifts have been changed to three shifts. With longer working hours, there are also more workers who procrastinate. I have talked to migrant workers before, and they also need to take care of their farmland after finishing work. Now is the time to sun-dry wheat, prepare the land, and weed. Thinking about the crops, and returning to the construction site to hoe the fields after finishing work, people are more prone to fatigue. The next day, efficiency cannot improve at all, and this cycle will definitely not be high. Three shifts can provide work and leisure, which is beneficial to safety production and the health of migrant workers. Allowing migrant workers time to take care of their own crops, they have no reason not to support it. It is beneficial for safety production and the health of migrant workers. Three shifts can increase manpower, but the required food supply will also increase. Moreover, three shifts will not affect idle workers, right? How can these be solved? Wu Zhu asked Tang Zhidong without hesitation. You see the question accurately. Tang Zhidong gave Wu Zhu a thumbs up and flattered, answering, that's what I think. Three shift workers can only have two full meals, and the extra meal can provide two full meals for two to three hundred people. With less labor time, they can also balance their own crops, without the reason for the construction site to provide three meals. Wu nodded in agreement with this. Another way is to increase the benefits, adding a large meat dish to the second meal of each shift. This meat dish will be distributed during shift work, and everyone can bring their own utensils to take home. Nowadays, it is not easy to see some meat in rural areas. With this alone, it will not only make the existing migrant workers more active, but there will definitely be migrant workers rushing to come. Meat Dishes are you still a big meat dish? Wu Zhu felt that Tang Zhidong dared to think. Now, not only do migrant workers, but even he himself lacks meat. Currently, the per capita annual consumption of meat in urban areas of the four or nine cities is about 15 kilograms, and no one dares to say that there is meat dish every day. What is the standard for this big meat dish? Six Intentions in Peigong you are listening at novelfull.audio. Didn't we just say that we could save 12,000 yuan? My idea was to use the standard of 1 cent per person per day. Even if we add another 300 workers, this money would be enough and there would still be surplus. As long as we can advance the construction period, this food and labor costs will be truly saved, which is also in line with how fast and good it is to save. Tang Zhidong continued to account for Wu, indicating that his plan was not out of line. Your method is good, but the standard is too high, we all caught up with the middle stove. 
Wu Zhu happily patted his thigh and pointed at Tang Jitong, laughing and cursing, Hey guy, you guys just brought out more than 1,000 regimental and battalion level cadres for me at once. This can be a big blow, can we have the food standard? As Mr. Liu said, Chinese people like to compromise the most. What is the concept of five cents a day? Even if all of it is used to buy meat, it only looks like 30 G, not to mention that this five cents also includes various seasoning costs. If the standards can be lowered, it may not necessarily achieve the expected results. Tang Zhidong looked puzzled and tired, but he could also understand Wu Zhu. Now, under the current trend of heavy rewards, there must be brave men, but what needs to be said is, when I was a child, my grandmother told me that watering the ground should be done thoroughly, otherwise it would only look glamorous and useless. You must have other ways, right? Wu Zhu was in a good mood and pointed to the letter in Tang Zhidong's hand, saying, I've talked a lot, but you haven't reached the second page yet. Your eyes are burning with fire, you are really accurate, Tang Zhidong said with a bitter smile. There is indeed something behind it, but it is difficult to coordinate and it also takes time. What we are most lacking now is time. Can you talk about it first? Simply put, it's about serving the people, solving the worries of migrant workers, and exchanging sincerity for sincerity. Tang Zhidong didn't even flip through the letterhead, so he said, I was suffering from heatstroke a while ago. Thanks to the cool water here, I wouldn't have been able to survive. Also, my frugal brother asked me to bring him a cigarette once, even though it's inconvenient for our soldiers to buy things, let alone migrant workers. Moreover, I've been at the construction site for so long and haven't seen anyone eating fruits before. I asked my fellow villagers, fruits are found in rural areas, and they usually take me 20 miles to town. Going to the market to exchange money and buy some salt may not be enough to sell it all in a day, which is very time-consuming Tang Zhidong's words were a bit dry, so he picked up an enamel water glass and took a sip. If someone pours water and doesn't drink it, it would be a bit impolite. Tang Zhidong didn't have time to drink it in the morning, so he could drink more this time. Unfortunately, there is no tea available. Taking a sip of water, Tang Zhidong continued, there are hospitals, supply and marketing cooperatives, cooperatives, cinemas, hair salons, bathhouses, and canteens in the city, which are very convenient for everything we do. If we also have small clinics, supply and marketing points, and hair salons on our construction site, even if they are temporary, do you think the people will support us? We are convenient for the people, serving the people, and also allowing the working people to better participate in the construction, is that right? You're right, and your idea is also very good. Wu nodded in agreement and explained to Tang Zhitong, the reason why I don't agree with the meat and vegetable standards you mentioned is that firstly, the standards are too high and there is no precedent, secondly, the three shifts not only need to recruit migrant workers, but also temporary workers, which all require money. The few points mentioned earlier are good, and I will contact and implement them now. You flatter me. If you stand tall and see far, you will definitely have a more comprehensive perspective than me. Tang Zhitong stood up and didn't leave. Well. Wu Zhu, I have a small request, please be accommodating. You can talk about it first, said Wu Zhu Lao Cheng. When settling the wages, can my portion be settled based on grain? I want to exchange it for grain, Tang Zhitong confidently demanded. Is that all? Wu Zhu was somewhat surprised and thought it was something that made people feel embarrassed. That's it. Tang Zhidong affirmed. No problem, Wu Zhu readily agreed, questioning with some curiosity, why do you want to exchange it for grain? It's not easy to bring it home. Hey, it's not because I'm a big eater that's causing trouble, Tang Zhidong explained with a hint of helplessness on his face. Everyone has a fixed amount, and if I eat more, I have to go to the grain shop to buy more. The staff at the grain shop ask all sorts of questions, and the service attitude is very bad. I can't bear it, but there's nothing I can do. If I can change a little bit from here, I can make my mother laugh less. 
The issue of service attitude has also been noticed above, and I believe it will improve soon. Wu Zhu stood up and patted Tang Zhitong's shoulder, comforting him, tell me two days in advance that you want to exchange rice or white flour. If it's not available at the construction site, I'll go to the grain bureau to make it for you. That's because of your kindness, it's a concern for me. Tang Zhidong bowed and bowed his hand to Wu Zhua in gratitude. You stay busy and call me any time if you have anything to do. Do you really need a small temporary worker for something? Tang Zhidong's words may seem a bit exaggerated, but in fact, they were the foreshadowing he deliberately left behind. In two generations, human nature is the most difficult to ponder, but there are also rules to follow. There are positive and negative, but most of them are ordinary. Zhaozhuyuan.com let people who are used to sitting in the office come to the construction site to enjoy the wind, sun, rain, and serve the muddy legs. And it took over two months to do it. This is definitely not something that ordinary people can accept or do well, and being passive in work is a high probability. The Wu team is swift and efficient in their work, with high administrative efficiency. On the same day, I found the leaders of various migrant worker teams to do ideological work, and changed from two shifts to three shifts, in addition to expanding recruitment. When they heard about the improvement of food, the ability to see a doctor, watch a movie, and the ability to buy things, the enthusiasm of the team leaders was very high. The next morning, a well-dressed salesperson came to report with two boxes of goods, and a nearby health worker carrying a small medicine box looked quite similar. The food has indeed improved, not to mention meat, but there is a bit of minced meat in the stewed vegetables, with a few oil stars floating around. On this same day, Tang Zhidong cut over a thousand pounds of vegetables, and his meals improved. He managed to cook enough for two meals per shift. On the same day, the kitchen no longer provides pickled vegetable strips, as eating pickled vegetables does not reflect any improvement in food quality good guy, Tang Zhidong has been exhausted from this day. On this day, the labor efficiency of migrant workers did indeed improve a lot, and Wu Zhu was very happy, but in the following days, the efficiency gradually decreased. In the following days, more and more migrant workers started asking for pickled vegetable strips from the kitchen instead of big pot dishes, and more and more of these migrant workers. Tang Zhitong saw everything in his eyes, but had no intention of speaking out. To see through but not to speak out, to speak out and offend people, one should not do things that offend people easily. So, it seemed like everything had returned to its previous state. The efficiency of three shifts is indeed improved compared to two shifts, but at this construction speed, it is not enough to complete before the holiday. As the days approached day by day, Wu Zhu's eyebrows tightened day by day, and he held one cigarette after another in his hand. Seven twists and turns to peel off cocoons. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Xiao Tang, your idea is great. The efficiency of the construction site has greatly improved. Wu called Tang Zhidong, who was cutting vegetables, to the office and took the initiative to pour tea. If I dare not take it seriously or not, I will speak up, mainly because you mobilized well and commanded and coordinated well. Tang Zhidong took over the enamel jar, which was sturdy and even minor bumps were fine. It could truly achieve the goal of, one jar can be passed down to three generations, and people can still walk the jar. Sit down and talk, sit down and talk. Wu Zhu didn't put on airs and patted Tang Zhidong's shoulder. After the two of them sat down, Wu Zhu opened the door and said to the mountain, I won't treat you as an outsider. If there's anything, just say it directly. The construction speed on the construction site has slowed down a bit these days, and I've heard some rumors about not being satisfied with the food. Wu Zhu, heaven and earth have a conscience. Although I am humble and humble, I have to speak a fair word for the kitchen. I don't compromise at all. I can make whatever I buy, and the meat and vegetables are very fresh. Tang Zhidong complained, this pot cannot be recognized. The person in charge of the kitchen is Ma San Gu, how can I cause trouble for him? I know the kitchen is not compromised. 
Just ask, the dishes are delicious, but why do many migrant workers eat pickled vegetables again? Is eating pickled vegetables a personal preference? Wu Zui asked. Well. Maybe the big guy wouldn't dare to tell you clearly, after all, improving the food is your responsibility. Tang Zhidong thought for a moment and figured out the twists and turns inside. So, why did the migrant workers eat pickled vegetables again? Wu Zhu was very concerned about this project. If he wanted to make a model, he had to have a highlight, the more dazzling the better. What is the highlight of eating pickled vegetables and rushing to work? He he, I might really know a little about this, Tang Zhitong rubbed her head and recalled, when I was a child, my grandmother planted some vegetables in front and behind the house. There was no shortage of vegetables throughout the summer, and sometimes when there was a harvest, my grandmother was afraid of wasting it, so she let the family eat more vegetables. But this dish is good for my stomach, but when I don't, after a few baths of urine, I get hungry again. Wu Zhu patted his forehead and suddenly realized, self-deprecating, I've been sitting at the mechanism for a long time, and I've forgotten about this. I didn't want to go for a better day, but I made a big joke. It's not just a joke, most people still choose to eat vegetables, after all, there is meat and oil. Tang Zhidong touched his furry chin and said leisurely, some people know how to calculate. One dish is divided into two and a half, and one steamed bun is divided into three. Eating one less dish and two more steamed buns is equivalent to making a profit. Maybe even after work, they can save a meal. No wonder last time you talked about big meat dishes, you figured out the ways in here. Wu Zhu pointed at Tang Zhidong and laughed, but according to your method, the standards are too high. Do you have a way to improve the food without raising the standards? Wu Zhu, I can't turn meat out of thin air either. I'll go back to the kitchen to discuss with everyone, and everyone will brainstorm. Maybe there will be a solution. Tang Zhidong shrugged his hands and said there was no way, but he didn't refuse. I'll wait for good news, Wu nodded to show understanding, hesitating to speak, but still spoke up. This morning, the health worker Xiao Lu came to see me and said he couldn't do it anymore. He said that treating the wound was okay, and he barely managed to handle the headache, fever, and diarrhea. However, a nearby woman came to see him, and he didn't dare to prescribe medicine. When Lu went to the battlefield, he wasn't as big as me, was he? I heard he saved a lot of people on the battlefield, that's it. Tang Zhidong gave a thumbs up, sincerely admiring, and also saw Wu Zhu's difficulties. He volunteered, could you please open another letter of introduction for this matter? I won't invite the doctor from the hospital. Let's go to the university to try our luck. If I can't make it on my end, you can think of other ways. You're the one who will come. Wu Zhu was quite satisfied with Tang Zhidong's attitude. Although it was Tang Zhidong's idea, the first time he came forward to coordinate, the effect was not ideal. If the effect was not good after brushing his face again, then this old face would really have nowhere to put it. Why don't you try the supply and marketing company together? I sacrificed my face and begged people to come, but I didn't expect that the service attitude was so bad, and he would throw a face at the people. It's not my soldier, otherwise I would let him taste the taste of military law. Okay, then I'll give it a try together. Tang Zhidong didn't refuse, thinking about how to make this happen. If it does, there will be a lot of room for operation. Wu Zhu lowered his head and opened an introduction letter, while Tang Zhidong sucked and drank tea. The people of Old Four and Nine Cities have a tradition of drinking tea and are known for the saying, South City Tea and North City Water. Due to the pollution caused by excrement, there are few sweet water wells in the entire 49 cities except for the vicinity of Andingman in the north. The wells near Andingman have clear and sweet water, which has truly created several water kings who sell water. However, those who claim to dominate have no good fate. Most of the wells in the first two years were pulled to the Qinghe River. Relying on mountains and drinking water, the entire construction site is drinking mountain spring water. Using mountain spring water to brew tea, hay, 
not to mention, the taste is authentic. The tea was hot, and before Tang Zhidong finished drinking, Wu had already prepared an introduction letter. It's a bit wasteful not to finish it, Wu Zhu. I'll take this teapot with me, and I'll brush it clean and return it to you later. Tang Zhidong collected the introduction letter and asked, pointing to the enamel jar. I'll see you off. Wu Zhu waved his hand and rushed out, let's walk around and come up with a solution quickly. Improving efficiency is the right thing to do. It's better to say it beautifully than to do it beautifully, just do it well. Tang Zhidong didn't talk big, but genuinely wanted to make this happen and benefit all parties involved. I believe you can definitely do it well, Wu Zhu stood up and patted Tang Zhidong's shoulder. If you make contributions, you will be rewarded. As long as you can complete the project ahead of schedule, it will definitely be your contribution. The specific remuneration was well understood by both of them, but Wu Zhu did not say anything and Tang Zhitong did not ask. After drinking tea and cleaning the enamel jar, Tang Zhitong realized that this household item had a significant commemorative value. Remembrance of the victory of the Korean War was prominently displayed in his eyes. Unexpectedly, the refined and refined Wu group had such a respectable past. Compared to their efforts, Tang Zhidong felt that he looked down upon him and had a strong utilitarian heart. However, the vast majority of people had selfish intentions. Life is neither bitter nor tiring. Only by experiencing it can one know the taste of it. Tang Zhidong does not want his descendants to go through the detours he has gone through again. Taking advantage of the current opportunity, Tang Zhitong plans to contribute to society to the best of his ability, while also striving to surpass others as much as possible. Regarding improving the food, Tang Zhitong initially had a cheap meat idea, but unfortunately, Wu not only directly have the standard, but also didn't let him finish speaking. A twisted melon is not sweet, and the person who delivers it to the door is not worth it. If someone doesn't listen, Tang Zhidong will just stop pointing at it. If he succeeds, he will also have his own contribution. If he doesn't succeed, he will try his own method. No, the opportunity has come. The so dot called cheap meat often refers to the internal organs of pigs, commonly known as pig offal. This thing is cheap, and in today's rural areas, it is given as a reward to a pig killer. How cheap is the price? The retail price of processed braised meat and cooked food is as follows. Pig heart costs over 50 cents per kilogram, pig liver costs over 30 cents per kilogram, pig lung costs over 20 cents per kilogram, pig large intestine costs over 20 cents per kilogram, and pig head meat costs about 30 cents per kilogram. The reason why pig offal is cheap is because it is difficult to process, and if not handled properly, the taste is quite food-saving. Since ancient times, most pig butchers have chosen to sell pig offal to small traders who specialize in it for a living, which has also resulted in many regional characteristics of food, such as stewed pork in Sijiu City, Chao Tian Pot in Lao Wei County, Gourd Head in the ancient capital of the Thirteen Dynasties, Soup with Pepper in Bai Wudu, Sausage in Guangdong and Guangxi, and various kinds of joy in short. The reason why food can become a delicacy is mostly because each family has their own secret recipe for removing odors and secret braised spices. The reason why Tang Zhidong dared to have the idea of cheap meat is because the Tang family has a heritage and used it for a living. However, leaving people in chaos is not as good as Taiping dog. Grandma Tang said that because of a basket of pig head meat, Grandpa Tang had a few arguments with the Japanese, and the people were gone like this. 8 Friendly Negotiations You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the year when Grandpa Tang was gone, not only did war break out, but the land of Shandong and Hunan also suffered from a severe drought, which further worsened the financial situation of the Tang family, which was originally not wealthy. Helpless, Grandma Tang and her children fled north but were scattered by refugees on the way, and the family lost contact with each other. After arriving in the 49th city, Tang's father picked up garbage, made a profit, and also tried to sell braised meat on his own. However, 
He was not allowed by the local foot merchants who sold smoked fish and went to the mine to eat it all at once. However, the craft of braised meat has been passed down to Tang Zhidong. Tang Zhidong felt that he would never engage in the industry related to braised meat in his lifetime, so he decided to make a decision against his ancestors and let the Tang family's secret recipe shine on the construction site. Third brother, let me discuss something with you. Tang Zhidong waved and called Ma Kajian, but now he no longer calls him the class leader. The entire kitchen knew about their relationship, but it didn't attract any gossip. Tang Zhitong relayed Wu Zhu's request to Ma San Gu and also informed him of his own plans. Is this appropriate? Are you not afraid of your aunt beating you? Ma Kajian couldn't bear it, as if seeing Tang Zhitong being whipped. You taught everyone the cooking skills that the old man taught you, and the old man didn't smoke you much, did he? Besides, I'm the only male servant in my family right now, and I guess my mother wouldn't want to smoke if she knew. The reason why no one in the kitchen spread Ma Kajian's gossip was because the third brother was righteous and taught cooking skills without hiding anything. It was just that the disciple had average intelligence and the taste of the food was not as authentic as the master's. Okay, as long as you're willing, there's no problem with me here. Ma Kajian didn't advise Tang Zhitong again, and he also hoped to complete it earlier. When he goes out, his face will also shine, and he has his own strength to contribute. Tang Zhidong asked Ma San Gu to take the lead in handling pig waste, mainly to repay him by putting this credit on his head. On the construction site, there is no need to consider labor costs. If we can negotiate the prices of meat factories, supply and marketing cooperatives, and lower the prices of ingredients and seasonings, Tang Zhidong is confident that he can get three or two liang of meat even at a five cent price. A spoonful of soup with three liang of pig head meat is a festive treat for rural families. Migrant workers will definitely give it their all, but of course, they cannot have pig hearts. It's too expensive. When Tang Zhitong reported to Wu Zhu, the idea of improving the food became Mark Jian's, which was also considered beyond official recognition. Ma San Gu was indispensable in the reward. Wu Zhu didn't delve into it, but instead gave Tang Zhitong his bicycle key, a shirt, and asked him to take note of his landline phone number, instructing him to communicate promptly if there were any issues. His eagerness was evident. Tang Zhitong stopped talking nonsense and went out to ask Huang for a sample magazine for publication. He put on his shirt, unlocked the bike, and left. In the era when travel was mostly done by walking, having a bicycle was still very convenient. Due to the downhill journey, it took less than 10 miles and 15 minutes to reach the town. Tang Zhidong's first stop was the post office, and he only went there after inquiring about the address of the supply and marketing cooperative. I presented an introduction letter to the supply and marketing cooperative, handed over a cigarette, and got the information I wanted. The director of the supply and marketing cooperative, surnamed Meng, has been sitting here for many years and is currently in the office. I also learned that the current supply and marketing cooperatives not only supply and sell, but also have the task of receiving goods. There are generally two ways to receive goods. One is to open the door and wait, and the other is to go to the market to sell. No one actively goes to the countryside to find a source of goods. After a moment of contemplation, Tang Zhidong felt confident and then asked about the position of Director Meng's office, expressing gratitude and saying goodbye to the messenger. Hello Director Meng, hello. Tang Zhidong knocked on the door and when Director Meng raised his head, he reached out his hand and walked forward. Director Meng stood up and respectfully extended his hand to gently shake Tang Zhidong, wondering, are you? My name is Tang Zhidong and this is my introduction letter. Please take a look. Tang Zhidong handed the introduction letter to Director Meng, and after Director Meng sat down, he sat down in a nearby chair. The new shirt was quite eye-dot catching, but still far behind Director Meng. Director Meng is reading the introduction letter, and Tang Zhidong is also looking at the office environment. The enjoyment level is much higher than that of Group Wu. The fan is clanging, 
and director Meng's Mediterranean hairstyle is slightly swaying with the wind. Comrade Xiao Tang, why did you come today? Director Meng finished reading the introduction letter and then looked up at Tang Zhidong. She was dressed well, but her skin was dark and there was no watch on her wrist, so she looked down on her. It's like this, Director Meng. Our construction site is a bit far from here, and it's inconvenient for our comrades to buy things. Sometimes, even if we make a trip, we can't get what we need. In order to better solve the worries of the construction site comrades, the leader sent me to negotiate with the supply and marketing cooperative. The construction site is closest to you, so I'm coming to your door. Tang Zhidong took the introduction letter, carefully folded it, and explained while staring at Director Meng's nose. This matter is not easy to handle. Construction is being carried out everywhere now, and the demand for goods from the masses is increasing. Moreover, our supply and marketing cooperatives are not adequately staffed. Director Meng politely declined, but the road was not completely blocked. Take a look at this again. Tang Zhidong didn't take over and handed the sample magazine to Director Meng, emphasizing the location of the tofu chunks. It happened on our construction site a few days ago. The scenery in your area is good, but there aren't many tourists. Director Meng saw the report and linked the matter together, making concessions on this issue. Since the post office and Yanda have come in front of us, we can't fall behind. The supply and marketing cooperative has also sent a few people to use their personal rest time to serve the construction site half a day a week. I'm afraid it's not possible. Our leadership requires quality and quantity assurance, and sufficient supply, which requires me to complete this task. Tang Zhidong smiled and shook his head, clarifying the needs of the construction site with Director Meng. Then I'm powerless. You can try other units. Director Meng became unhappy upon hearing this. What department is the supply and marketing cooperative? Can you still let such a hairless young man lead the way? So we went straight to chase customers. Director Meng, I know you are indifferent to fame and fortune, and don't like letters of praise or banners. Tang Zhitong understood Director Meng's meaning, but didn't get up. Instead, he tilted his body slightly forward, smiled sincerely, and pointed his finger to the roof. Our construction site used to be a scenic spot, but now we have registered there. After searching for Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, we will probably have some other purposes. You must know what this scenic spot used to do, right? After listening to Tang Zhidong's words, Director Meng's dissatisfaction turned into astonishment, and then a smile filled his face. The once.in.a.lifetime opportunity made him put aside his contempt and, with a mindset that was more trustworthy, handed Tang Zhitong a glass of water. Oh, you little comrade Tang, I have to criticize you. You should highlight the key points in your speech. You're right in criticizing me. I'm still young and inexperienced. Only by criticizing more can I make progress. Tang Zhitong stood up and took the teacup. What's criticism? Always give the leader a step down, right? Getting things done is the real thing. We really don't have enough manpower. Director Meng waited for Tang Zhidong to sit down, clearly thinking desperately, but habitually bargaining. The supply and marketing cooperative guarantees the supply we need for our construction site, and we settle the retail price, clear the account, and settle the construction site in cash. We will never delay payment or take advantage of the public. Tang Zhidong didn't wait for Director Meng to finish speaking, followed by the conversation, and directly set conditions. The manpower was just an excuse. Even if the supply and marketing cooperative hired personnel, Wu Group was unwilling to use that service attitude. It's not that we can't consider it either, Director Meng nodded subtly, gesturing for Tang Zhidong to continue. You sent someone to walk through the scene and put up the name of the supply and marketing cooperative, and I will do the specific work. You will definitely actively participate in and support the construction when the report is made. During this period, 
I can also help the supply and marketing cooperative purchase some agricultural products and assist in completing the acquisition task. Tang Zhidong broke his fingers and calculated for Director Meng, then pointed his finger at it. Today, our leaders said that they have prepared to pay close attention to the service attitude for a while. As long as we cooperate well, we will definitely be very satisfied with the service of the supply and marketing cooperative before we do it hard. The press release and report will not be missing from your side. Why don't you consider it again? I will visit other supply and marketing cooperatives. 9. Go home. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Tang Zhidong really wants to be listed under the name of the construction site at wholesale prices, but there are also significant risks. Firstly, the project is difficult to handle, and secondly, it involves asset loss and so on. Therefore, it is better to list it under the name of the supply and marketing cooperative and consider it as the active participation of the supply and marketing cooperative. In this way, Wu Zhu from the construction site gained benefits, Director Meng from the supply and marketing cooperative gained face, and Tang Zhitong gained practical benefits. Oh my, you little Tang, you're too far-sighted. Don't be so troublesome. Director Meng nodded at Tang Zhidong with his finger and said straightforwardly, it's convenient for the people, serving engineering staff, and also supporting construction. These are all things we should do, but you must not make it difficult for me to do. I don't have many advantages, just one thing. Being sensible won't make it difficult for you to do. You should give me some of the accumulated insect-eaten and mouse-bitten cloth, damp and clumped candy, and deformed enamel, after all, going to the village to collect things empty-handed is not conducive to completing the acquisition task. Tang Zhitong promised with a smile. Director Meng understood Tang Zhitong's implied meaning and his cheeks twitched slightly. I thought to myself that this kid belongs to both our construction site and me. He really has a clear distinction between public and private, and is so divine that he can be bitten by insects and mice, damp and clumped up. Be sensible. Who will be enlightened? Who should be sensible? The red chapter, this is unlikely to be fake. This opportunity can be said to be a once.in.a.lifetime opportunity. If you don't seize it yourself, you will really be cheaper than other supply and marketing cooperatives after understanding, Director Meng did not hesitate anymore and extended warm hands to Tang Zhitong. Stepping out of the supply and marketing cooperative, Tang Zhidong wiped his sweat. If it weren't for the sake of supplies, he wouldn't want to deal with people like Director Meng at all. He couldn't say it through or die, he had to ponder and say it. It's exhausting to say one sentence in three twists and turns. In contrast, workers and intellectuals are still simple. Tang Zhitong relied on a recommendation letter to go to the slaughterhouse first. The workers at the slaughterhouse even complained that Tang Zhitong didn't bring money, otherwise he could have pulled a car back into the water today the last stop is the medical school, and Tang Zhitong consulted Kai Fong in advance. Before Yen University, there was a medical department. In 52 years, it separated from Yen University and established an independent college. It moved to Xu Yuan Road and formed the 49th Medical College, which has been a key focus for many years since then. In the middle, Kai Fong played a matchmaker and bridged the situation, and everything went smoothly. After coming out of the medical school, Tang Zhitong called Wu Zhu, reported on the progress, and finally said to borrow Wu Zhu's bicycle for another half day to go home and return to the construction site early tomorrow morning. Wu Group has a dedicated car and bicycles on the construction site are similar to public use. Wu Group doesn't care about this half day and is happy to have approved Tang Zhidong's vacation. Tang Zhidong found a place to carry his back, took off his shirt and threw it into the space. He then took out two tendons from the space and put them on, rode his bike and headed home. Tang Zhidong lives in Shijia Hutong, which shares the same name as the famous alley and is a small alley on the east side of Washer Street in Nanchang. In Tang Zhidong's impression, when he was a child, Walking north for more than 10 meters was a foul-smelling ditch. The stinky water gully winds eastward, 
merges into a larger stinky water gully through Baichiao, passes through Huheian and Beiguan, and finally flows into Tonghui River. The Big Stinky Ditch, also known as the Dead Child Ditch, according to the older generation, immature children do not raise graves, while young children often throw things into the ditch. The Tang family has also thrown it away. After Tang Zhidong, there was a third child who died young and was wrapped in weeds before being thrown into this ditch. In addition to the stinky water gully, there are also large areas of tombs here, such as the Shantian Prefecture Cemetery and the Youth Association Cemetery. Edi, also known as Ijong, is a pleasant term and essentially a mass grave. Buried are lonely souls and wild ghosts without family members, or those who live in poverty and have no money to bury, and those who are buried in a cool mat are considered as thick burials. So this is the second gathering place for poor people besides Longsagu. After the liberation, work was used as a substitute for relief, and the people were organized to turn the stinky water ditch into an underground underground canal. The surrounding cemetery was also relocated from the urban area, which increased the popularity of this area. Nowadays, there are numerous grassroots administrative units, factories, workshops, and residential buildings here, and housing prices have risen by not a little bit compared to before the liberation. Oh, eucalyptus, are you buying a foreign car? Grandpa Zhu, who was looking at the water, stared at the bicycle with envy and asked. Hey, where can I afford to buy it? I borrowed it. The construction site is too far from home, and taking a car is expensive, which can save some money. Tang Zhitong got off the car, patted the seat, and said to Grandpa Zhu, Grandpa Zhu, please be busy first. I'll go home and take a look first. After adding her grandson, Grandma Tang spent half a pound of corn flour to invite the blind half-immortal who shook the bell to give her grandson a nickname. The Bansien told Grandma Tang that your grandson, the five elements, was short of wood. In the future, it would be better to have the support of Jin Ming, whose name is Jidong. He hoped that the planted wudong tree could attract Jinfenguang, whose nickname is Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus grows fast and tall, and can grow more than 30 zhang, implying that the child grows healthily. The old lady didn't know how the blind man knew how tall the eucalyptus tree was, and she probably couldn't imagine what a tree over 30 zhang long would look like, but it didn't affect her love and earnest expectations for her grandson. Tang Zhidong does not believe this, but his height is indeed higher than his peers. Tang Zhitong believes that his height should be attributed more to the old lady not starving herself during that hungry era. Entering the house, Tang Zhitong put away his bicycle and took out the scrap iron that had been exchanged from the scrap station from the space. Hmm, this was also under the guise of a letter of introduction, otherwise it would not have been easy to buy it. Mom, please rest, I'll come. Tang Zhitong saw Tang's mother serving the vegetables in the yard as soon as she entered the door. You're not mistaken, it's just growing vegetables in a courtyard. Tang's mother's name is Zhang Guifang, and she comes from a rural area in the outskirts of the 49th city. She was the daughter dot in dot law of the old lady who exchanged food for her. Although I have lived in Nanching for more than 20 years, like my mother dot in dot law, I don't love flowers, birds, fish, and insects, and my original intention remains unchanged. I only love growing vegetables. Eucalyptus has returned. Are you still used to it there? Tang's mother, who was less than forty and was busy with the morning and night, managing everything at home, had white hair early on. Are you picking up scrap iron? Brother Ma takes care of me. It's good to be there. You can rest assured that steamed dome dot shaped bread made of corn flour is enough. Scrap iron is picked up. I can keep it useful. You can't sell it. You can rest while I mow the lawn. Tang Zhitong threw the scrap iron in the corner and took the hoe in Tang's mother's hand. He wanted her to sit down and have a rest. That's good, that's good. After you hoe the grass, pick up some water, and water the vegetables at night. I'll go to see if there is any meat to sell, and buy some for you to make zhajiangmian. Go to the bookstore www.jiaozhuyuan. 
Calm, Mother Tang is a restless person. She refuses to sit down and rest, and turns back to the house to look for a meat certificate. At present, there is sufficient supply in the four or nine cities, and meat tickets have not yet been implemented. Currently, meat can be purchased with a purchase certificate, and the maximum daily purchase amount of pork per certificate is 1 yuan. The Han people's certificate limits the purchase of one pound of beef and mutton per day. What to eat, Zajiangmian is too troublesome, let's eat it tomorrow. When we go out to the dumpling and get out of the car, Tang's mother makes noodles for her son, which means she treats him as an adult, but Tang Zhidong doesn't stop her, because she is really hungry with the hard food on the construction site supporting everything like this, Tang Zhidong couldn't imagine the days ahead that were not enough for 306, especially since there were still two children at home. Tang Zhidong made up his mind to seize the opportunity to gather a batch of supplies. Tang Zhidong tidied up the ground and carried a pole to go out to fetch water from the iron drum. The reason why it is called an iron wheel handle is because there used to be a well in this place, and the wheel handle used for drawing water was made of iron. The place names are given very casually after the liberation, a small room was built next to the well, with running water and a faucet installed for use by residents of several nearby hutongs. The newspaper called it the Ming Boiling Water Station, and the people referred to it as the Water Station. Mr. Zhu is not only visually disabled, but also a lonely elderly person. He has been selected by the street to take care of the water station, collect water bills, and live and eat in small houses. He is a temporary worker at the water company and earns around 10 yuan a month, which can be considered a livelihood job. Eucalyptus, we will start collecting water bills tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. Go back and tell your mother. Grandpa Zhu sat on a small horse, shook his fan, and looked at Tang Zhidong with his only remaining eye. He couldn't figure out how this quiet child could borrow a bicycle. All right, I'll definitely get it ready for you. Tang Zhidong turned on the faucet to collect water. There were few people around, and most of the old ladies went home to prepare dinner. In a while, the young lady and daughter. In law should come out with a basin to wash clothes and chat. 